All right, here we go. Today we're checking out the Air Arms S510 XS laminate version. So there's many XS's available. And so if it says XS or extra next to the name of the gun, then it's regulated. So fully regulated. This is like their flagship 510 XS model, which is the most expensive. It's a laminate stock. It's got an adjustable cheek piece and all that. I would classify this as a dream gun. I already know it's going to shoot so awesome as well as being super, super smooth. Like I said, this is their most expensive model, but they actually have these in all different prices, just according to which stock that you choose, all the way down to $12.99. This comes in 177, 22, and 25 caliber. And we're gonna go over the hardcore stats. These are the same for all of them. But here's the power output for the different calibers. 177 caliber is going to shoot 20 foot pounds, 40 shots per fill, slinging that 177 caliber ammo at about 1,035 feet per second. 22, I think, is perfect. So, when I got here, it's 950 feet per second, putting out 32 foot pounds, 35 shots per fill. And the 25 caliber is going to be putting out 44 foot pounds. That's the raw. 815 feet per second, 25 shots per fill. These have 15.5 inch barrels. The power is adjustable too. So you can tune it in for different pellets. This laminated version right here has an adjustable butt pad as well as an adjustable cheek piece. 186 cc cylinders on these guys. 44 inches long, weighs 8.3 pounds. It's got 11 millimeter dove's tail rail on top, manual safety, these are going to be quiet with the uh, included moderator there. It's a side lever repeater, so you're going to have a 10-shot magazine. You get 10 shots in all calibers and a two-stage adjustable trigger. Yeah, that's just beautiful. All right, that's it for hardcore stats. Let's shoot this thing. But first, I want to give you guys an up-close look at this beautiful air gun and some of its features. You can see that the laminate stock is beautiful. It's even better looking in person. You got your various adjustments built in for cheek rest, as well as your butt pad is, I believe, three-dimensionally adjustable. And then the stippling on this gun is so beautiful. Feels great in the hand as well. Right there, you got your power wheel. The shape and styling of the stock is just super sexy. As well, you got a super stylish moderator on the end. That's fixed. It did not want to come off. And your fill port cover is also super stylish. You also can't really tell, but the tank is actually polished. If you wipe the fingerprints off, it's actually super shiny. I thought it gave it a cool effect. The cheek piece is actually a little bit wider than the stock itself. And I'll get you guys a shot of that in a second here. But it makes it very comfortable. And the stippling on this stock, they must do it with lasers or something. It's just so sharp. And it really does allow you to grip the gun very well. Yeah, look at those edges right there and the stippling. Just beautiful. Super high quality butt pad, nice grippy soft rubber. There's a look at that moderator. It is fixed on there, so this gun's permanently quiet. Also, you notice you got a nice aluminum barrel band built in there. Underneath this super fresh fill probe cover is your fill port. There's that shiny tank that I mentioned. Under here, you got one of those, I'm not sure what they're called, but it's an adjustable rail. You can slide your hamster in there, but you got a swivel stud that's obviously removable. It's got a really unique manometer, so I'll show you how that works. And here's a look at that cheek rest. It basically sticks out maybe 3 16 of an inch on each side, but it makes the gun look awesome. And it's also very comfortable to shoot. In addition to this, whatever these are called. And then you can get in there for your trigger adjustments. It's got AA laser etched in the bottom right there. Pretty awesome. This comes with two magazines, by the way. You just drop a pellet in there and go like that. Load them up either way, and that's it. So yeah, these are super fast to load, and the gun cycles them for you. This right here is a polymer, and that's an aluminum wheel inside there. I went ahead and added a 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting with a one, it's called 1 8 BSPP threads. So you can order one of those when you order your gun. I had complained in the S510 tactical video that it was really hard 
to get this fill probe on. That was actually just user error. What you want to do is, this is a, a good thing for all air gunners to have. It's a pure silicone lubricant. This is a lubricant that won't rot your air gun seals. Pure silicone, otherwise known as treadmill oil. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that on these O-rings right here. And this should make this uh, fill probe slide on and off real easily. Oh yeah, that thing went on like butter. <laughs> Seriously, like a dream. Now let's see if it comes off. Oh wow. Okay, so that definitely works. A little silicone on there. Wow, that thing is like butter. Seriously. This gate is actually red, but my camera screwed the color up. It's kind of interesting though. The green moves inside that little red swoosh thing. And you basically want to get the uh, green and red line where they meet. Put that right at the 250 mark and you're full. Then you want to refill at 150. All right, I did my usual barrel cleaning upside down so I didn't get any solvent in the transfer port. I used a JL crown saver and ballast all, which is safe for air gun seals. So I only pulled three patches. I didn't get the usual like motor oil, dark black stuff that we usually get out. So that was cool. And then I pulled this one a couple times and call them that good. Oh, that's way lighter than I thought it was going to be, but 3.2 ounces on that one. And 3.3 .3 ounces. Consistent and lightweight. It's going to like spring open like that. And then it's just a really smooth pull. Like, I can't even describe how smooth that is, you guys. And then it pops back in there. If you want to decock it, just go like that. Now you're decocked, but check this out again. You're just like this. There you go. So the power wheel right here, if you look to the other side, it's going to have a plus and minus right there. It looks like it does have detents. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So you got five positions and they all lock into place. The safety's right on the trigger right here. So you just push it. Now it's safe and the definitely not gonna fire. So when you're ready to fire though, you can go like that. And here's the trigger pull. Two stage trigger, because that's the first stage. Ooh, that's sensitive. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Okay, I have all the usual suspects. 33, 25, 24, 18. We got our little group of 15.9 grains. And then the light dogs right here. 13.43 and... 14.35 Probably the 18 grain and the 16 grain are both going to shoot really good This gun is just so strikingly beautiful Laminate stock just really makes it It looks so good just like sitting on the shelf right there And I tell you if you bought this gun, it's something you could be proud of You could admire it day after day Super foggy out today, but we're at a very special. 36 yards away. So this 33 grain fits in there, but it won't advance forward. These 25.39 grains are gonna be your heavies. They fit in there just fine and rotate nicely. 33.95 grain, too big to fit in the magazine. Single shot loads, no problem. 25.39 grain JSBs, which are the heaviest that you're going to fit in your magazine. Wow, 816. That's pretty good. Wow, how many duplicates can I get in a row? 
All right, I'm calling that, and now we're on to the 18 grain. I'm gonna put the scope cam in, get this party started. Check out that pellet that we just shot. I've never seen a 22 spread out like that. <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. Right behind it, here's the other one. This guy right here. Wow. All right, so the reason the scope cam's so blurry is because it's foggy out. And the reason the fog's not blowing away is because there's no wind, so. Anyway, this is what we got. Let's sight in on this bad boy. 924 feet per second. All right. All right, let's go for a one shot side in. Oh, I slipped on the trigger. That was me not concentrating. Nice. And that's how you eliminate bullseyes. So, uh, as awesome as that was, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go to the JSBs. Those were the FX. I just realized that the chronograph camera wasn't filming, so we're going to do that one more time. We're going to go ahead and shoot some 18 grain FX again because I wasn't recording the chronograph. Well, that was me. Might have to come over a teeny bit. Anyway, that was the uh, FX again, shooting a hurried group. It just occurred to me that you want to turn those down. 930 feet per second is not what you want 18 grain flying. You want to find about 890. Anyway, we're still chronograph testing right now. So on high. These are JSB 18.1 grain. So I'll go back and we'll tune this down a little bit later. <laughs> right, drilling it at 917. Those were the JSB. All right, 15.89 grain, and of course these are gonna be traveling too fast, but we're just gonna test them anyway. Yeah, these are way too fast, but uh, um, we're just testing the power right now. I'm all confused because you're supposed to be shooting these slower, so. You shoot the best of all so far. <laughs> that is so awesome. So, I don't think that I should tune this. I think we should say that's our official 35 yard pellet. I actually did end up tuning it, and so just one click down on the power wheel, put the 18.1 grain pellets at exactly 890 feet per second. Check this out. All right, we're going to go one notch down from high, so click, see what speed we get on the 18 grain. <laughs> right in the bullseye. This gun perverts JSB pellets over FX. So this first group I shot with FX 18.1 grain, and I was like, what the heck? Interesting, I think I might be running out of air. Yeah, that's not working out. But then I stuck some JSB 18.13 grain in there, and boom. All right, now I got the 18 grain JSBs. This is on uh, one click down from high. Let's see if they do any better. Wow. I think this gun likes JSBs better than FX. Starting to get nervous now. Wow, you guys, this is freaking awesome. So this is what you want. You want one click down from high. JSB pellets in your business. There's your perfect one. The first 15.89 grain group I shot. Look at this one. Freaking punched out that bullseye. Honestly, you guys, it shot every single pellet I put in there pretty darn awesome. And it didn't even matter what speed it was going, so. I think this is one of those guns that you can shoot just about anything out of, and it'll group accurately. Here's just an example of the lightweight ammo. I did the 13.43 grains. We're going over 1,000 feet per second on high power. 
And even at over a thousand feet per second, these lighter weight pellets were grouping just fine. As you can see, awesome little group with the 13.43 grain JSPs. Okay, we got a little bit of wind and I got my two favorite pellets. I'm gonna shoot these on one notch down from high. These on high, I think these are 950, 890. Might try these. We're set up at 49 yards away, going for 50, close enough. Okay, I have a lot of mangled pellets in this 18 grain tin. I'm gonna try to check them as I'm going. And that concludes the 50 yard accuracy testing. One shot sight in, five through the same hole. First try, I mean, that's it. What else do you want? All right, we're gonna go to high power though and try the 15.89 green on high. Holy crap, you guys. Even uh, up close, that's one hole. So outstanding. All right, I'm on high power. Let's see where we hit. Same spot, 15 on high and 18 on low, hit the same place. I dropped that pellet and picked it back up. I think I bent the skirt. Wow, you guys, my first two groups, pretty much one hole, loving it. You guys, that out there is uh, 66 yards, and I just found a couple pellets on the table. I didn't even know which ones they were, and I went ahead and hit these paddles twice, and I wasn't filming, but I just did a simple holdover like this. Boom. So easy. Do it one more time. <laughs> nice. And I was just totally guessing, too, like where this was going to hit. so easy check it out we are at uh, those bunnies are at there's my dog 66 yards away all right we're gonna do a full shot string and while we are in the middle of it we're gonna take care of these characters starting off at exactly 250 bar fill maybe a little bit above I don't have to tell you this is going to be a hard shot. Look at that direct hit right there. Also today I discovered that dirt clogs make awesome reactive targets. That's awesome.
so we ran that thing down to 125 bar for sure one of the best shot strings i ever shot all the shots were within one two three fps of each other and i did get about 35 shots per fill i ended up with 33 full power shots before we hit the 150 mark right there so i'd say this is one of the best regulators i've ever come across for sure all right guys and gals thanks for making it to the end of this video i got some good ones coming up we got the 30 caliber raw chassis gun as well as you guessed it the st1 is on its way to me now so i'm gonna have that asap all right everybody thanks again for tuning in happy shooting we'll see you on the next one